踏切渡ってしばらく歩いたところだからねあそこ段差あるから気をつけてチギちゃんは歩いてるのに、私は歩いてるのに、私は歩いてるのに、私は歩いてるのに、私は歩いてるのに、私は歩いてるのに、私は歩いてるのに、私は歩いてるのに、私は歩いてるのに、私は歩いてるのに、私は歩いてるのに、私は歩いてるのに、私は歩いてるのに、私は歩いてるのに、私は歩いてるのに、私は歩いてるのに、私は歩いてるのに、私は歩いてるのに、Somehow, there was a lot of trouble at first, though. お姉ちゃんずっと心配してたよ。ろくに連絡もよこさないんだから、冷たいわよね。Sorry. That's because I was all about the violin while abroad. It was true I didn't have room to think about it anything else. まあ、元気そうだからいいけど。You're a good girl, Chikachan. When I was your age, I never thought about others at all. I only ever thought about myself. Myself and the violin. I recalled something I'd rather not and shook my head. Well, right now I have my hands full with myself, though. Shoichi mo kou miete ukiyo banare shita hito da mon ne. Papa ya o nee chan to doorei. Huh? I am? So yo! Minna nanka henna kodawari toka motte te. そういうものでは誰にも負けないんだよね。今年なんて誰にも負けないって思えるもの何も持ってないのに。チギちゃん murmured a bit sadly。True, Master and Kanadi both had this unique aura that others didn't. I'm sure anyone who's devoted themselves to a single art has their own. Maybe チギちゃん doesn't have that aura yet. But your time will come, チギちゃん。You'll find something you refuse to lose in, at in the future, I'm sure. So, Kona. I do. You have the same blood flowing to you as those two do. When I said that, Chikachan smiled in a bit of relief. Papa to Naji Chika. Chotto Fukudas Kamo. Chikachan smiled mischievously. Ooh. So, it's a more. Hito dies over there. Hatashi ga oe s t e t a g i r k a r a I never thought I would be encouraged by Chigachan. I felt better. Yeah, thank you. At that moment. Hey! Just a minute, d e n e j a n Oh boy, goatee. The most evil villain, VNs. I heard the voice of some crude, rough man. Chigachan and I both stopped in our tracks. There weren't a lot of people at this station since it was a weekday afternoon. That's why we found that man quickly. Oh, yeah! He's a oh, Mohawk's even worse. It was just a pair of guys both looked like trouble. They were surrounding a girl in a school uniform. There was a beach for swimming here, near, near, near this area, so we got a lot of outsiders. The real beach season was a little ways off, but passionate surfers and such came regardless of the season, and sometimes there were a few unpleasant ones. A lot of them were just coming to pick up girls. It looked like those were those kind of guys around here. The girl looked rather mature for a student. She looked like a calm beauty. <sighs> The girl wasn't frightened at all by their menacing voices. In fact, she wasn't even bothering to hide her irritation. She was a woman with a lot of guts. However, that attitude of hers only provoked the men even further. The guys looked like they were quite pissed off. <laughs> One of them said even louder, but the girl didn't react at all. Her clearly aggravated attitude was only adding fuel to the fire. A few of the other people passing by glanced over them, but everyone kept going, not wanting to get involved. Will she be alright? Oh, wait. Chikachan, what are you doing? Chikachan ran over to the girl and two guys.、Uh, hey, wait, Chikachan! I couldn't leave her be. 
I followed after Chikachan in a hurry. Oh boy. Chikachan started yelling at the guys. How fearless. Uh -huh. However, the two guys just looked around confused. I guess they couldn't see Chikachan standing in front of them. <laughs> Sadako? I think that's the the ring girl. The girl from the ring. Oh, come on. I accidentally spoke up. And the two guys noticed. Oh my god! Me? Oh yeah, getting them points. Setting up them flags and knocking them down. The girl noticed me at the same time. She looked up at me and opened her eyes in a wide... Well, open wide in surprise. She looked as if she knew me. She's not an acquaintance, is she? No, that wasn't. I guess the men still couldn't see Chikachan due to her height. <laughs> Chikachan kicked the one guy in the shin. <laughs> then they finally found Chikachan. <laughs> ちいさすぎて見えなかったんだな。びっくりさせるんじゃねえよっての。俺たちはな、この子が裸足だから親切に家まで送ってやろうって言っただけなんだよ。Huh? Barefoot. I looked at the girl's feet. Yeah, she was barefoot. She wasn't even wearing any socks. I didn't know how far she'd walk, but they were black from dirt. Why are you barefoot? What happened to your shoes? The girl wouldn't answer. Not only that, she wouldn't look at me either. She had a thorny aura around her. Chikachan asked the same question. This time she answered. Your shoes were gone? How'd you lose your shoes? Chikachan, can you please ask this girl where your shoes go? Thank you. Where did you lose them? Something happened at the school. <sighs> Poor chick. I'm sure she's getting bullied. She wasn't answering my questions, but she was answering Chikachan's. Was this girl ignoring me? But why? なんでこの姉ちゃんがよ。平気だから構わないでって言ってるの。何度言ったらわかるのよ。その耳腐ってるんじゃないの? Oh. What a strong-willed girl. I almost wanted to applaud her for her great attitude. However, that attitude also invoked the other men's anger. The men's face steadily grew red with anger. I think this might be pretty bad. <laughs> and then the fearless Chikachan poured fuel on the fire. This is bad. <laughs> The man with the beard shoved Chikachan. Oh man, that's, that's it. It's on now. Chikachan was knocked back and fell on her butt. Hey, Chikachan 
Are you alright? Chika-chan spoke firmly, but there were tears in her eyes. That's it, man. Hey, you two. Don't you think it's a bit cruel to raise your hand against a child? <laughs> About to go down. I believe that one, the one in need of a lesson here would be you two. In my anger, I accidentally spoke my mind. These men's expressions tightened. <laughs> the man's hand grabbed my collar. He lifted me up with his strength. It was hard to breathe. Oop, that sounded like a punch. He suddenly hit me. My cheeks grew hot. It wasn't until after I fell on the ground that I realized he punched me. I heard Chika-chan scream. But before I could respond to her, the man dragged me up. <laughs> Another punch to the nose. It felt more warm than painful. <laughs> the man with the blood on his fist sneered as he started at me. Not really. I tasted iron in my mouth, and a foul odor filled my nose. I hate people who try to solve anything through violence. The man brought his face in close, provoking me. I knew I shouldn't let myself be provoked, but I tightened my fist. The man joking around wasn't the least bit frightening, naturally. He was provoking me. I tightened my fist even more. Before, I never, ever got into a fight. Because it meant I might injure my hand. That meant there was a chance I might not be able to play the violin anymore. That's why I was ever forbidden to fight, and also from playing any ball sports. I had to sit alone in the classroom and watch while all my classmates spent races happily playing dodgeball. When I actually wanted to join them the whole time. I ignored them when they teased me for being a girly boy. Oh, girly boy. If I argued back... I wouldn't get in a fight. And if that happened, I might not be able to play the violin again. I had to sacrifice all kinds of things for that violin. But now, the violin was no longer with me. So there was no longer any need for me to worry about my hands. Was there? In that same instant, those thoughts crossed my mind in the sight of that incident played back in my mind. A flashback. The memory of that moment when I lost everything in Germany. My clenched fist could, didn't, couldn't move anymore. It was like my arm had turned into stone. The memory of that nightmare bound me. The man brought his face close, provoking me. However, I couldn't move my body. <sighs> I heard the girl click her tongue. When I raised my head, I saw the girl looking at me. Suganuma! She called out my name. Huh? Wait. Why did she know my name? Yatsu! The girl shouted. Her voice rang clear under the blue summer sky. That voice loosened the chains bounding my body. My fist howled. 
howled, whoosh, and shot through the air. I missed. Oh. Yep. <sighs> yep. I'm disappointed. <laughs> <laughs> the man who laughed narrowed his eyes. Huh? I didn't get to hit you! The man swung his fist. He was going to hit me. But right as I thought that. Yep. Those guys don't look that tough. Come on. A nice sound rang through the air. The girl had slapped the man hard. The man was hit dumbstruck. So were Chikachan and I. What are you doing? What? Don't even have jobs. What? Okay. A neat. For those of you who don't know, neat is actually a meaning. Uh, each letter means one of those things. I can't remember what it was called. But um, it stands for not employed, educated, or in training. This mostly happens, or people are called this, when after they graduate and they don't go to college, they're not training to do any kind of job, or they're not taking any jobs. For all those people, they're called neats. Mostly, they're otakus who just stay at home and watch anime, play games, and all that kind of stuff. So, there you go. Here's another lesson for you. She immediately started lecturing him as a bigger, bigger than after she slapped him. What a woman. <laughs> the man finally snapped back and started shouting. Uh oh. <laughs> then Chikachan started shouting. She was waving her hand. <laughs> the two men dashed away. They ran away rather well. Huh? Oh yeah. I didn't see any officer anywhere. Jigachan struck out her tongue. What? You were just acting? However, the girl seemed upset. She turned her upset eyes toward me. Why did it feel like she was being extra harsh towards me? Um... You're not hurt, are you? No, right? Uh, yeah, sorry. I know, but somehow, I felt like I had to apologize. The girl had a, an odd edge to her. The girl was still looking at me. I felt like I was being drawn into her eyes. Her eyes were amazing. They were intense and overwhelming to look at. She had an amazing air about her. Just who is this girl? <laughs> the girl spoke curtly, turning her back towards me. She was planning to leave. Uh -huh. Hey, how far are you planning to go in those feet? <laughs> With that brusque reply, the girl gently walked off on her bare feet. That girl's amazing. Yeah, really. She left a strong impression. I wonder if she's from the city. I wonder if I'll ever meet her again. <laughs> Chika-chan stuck out her tongue in the direction the girl vanished. <laughs>